Bismillahirrahmanirrahim My name is Muhammad Atif Akmal bin Abdul Ghani 1142919 Today I will present Islamic Marketing Which is Introduction First I will explain what is Islamic Marketing Islamic Marketing is a field in Emergence Which means it's very new field of marketing But According to Al Sirhan 2011 Islamic marketing could be religion based marketing in which your marketing activities are guided within the framework of Islamic Sharia or Islamic marketing uh, also could mean the practices carried out by companies Muslim or otherwise to Muslim consumers next Next is morality and the marketplace. Today I will focus only on Islamic ethics, Islamic ethics and marketing written by Abbas J. Ali. So what is Islamic ethics and marketing? In Islamic ethics, there are four pillars. First is effort. Second is competition. Third, third is transparency. And fourth is morally responsible conduct. I will explain the first pillar, which is effort. What is effort? Effort is the foundation of Islamic work ethics. Uh, in marketing concept, uh, we as the marketing personnel or staff, we have to spread the message that is clear, uh, which means companies should introduce products on a timely basis and the customer should be served efficiently uh, next competition competition in marketing must be no harm no monopoly session to any market participants and uh, for the third transparency we as a Muslim staff should show uh, the transparency value because when we sell the product uh, without this value, the customer will not gain the trust from our product and so on. And fourth is morally responsible conduct. Uh, marketing staff or marketing personnel should have the good moral uh, in their work to promote their product to the customer because if they had the bad moral uh, the customer will have the bad perception to us okay that's all uh, okay. my name is Ahmad Abrar bin Adam Balik 1142097 I will present about the future of Islamic branding and marketing based on a major, uh, general, general perspective okay the first thing uh, as we know for the major perspective is uh, the muslim country and the western country try to do the brand which is uh, halal brand uh, halal brand because the muslim people overlook the halal and haram perspective based on the product okay the three reason why uh, Muslim people like to do their brand because it's the first one is the Western uh, Western Western country. Uh, their product is often not based on the Sharia. Okay. The second is they want uh, to build their own branding. Okay. The lastly is the about the education uh, about the growth of education for the Muslim minority and majority countries okay they have uh, eight opportunities in large and desperate market okay the first one is uh, food and beverage we know the Asia country is the 60 uh, is the largest uh, largest uh, market for food and 62 62 percent uh, uh, 62 percent live in Asia uh, they are Muslim 
uh, on that re uh, region. Okay, so we can increase the food product on the particular area. Okay, the second is internet and digital product and services. The third is the Islamic education. Islamic education just we know that most other people nowadays they have the awareness uh, go uh, give the children go to the uh, education uh, primary school they have the Islamic uh, education uh, that's the you see they have nakli and akli basis okay for the tourism and hospitality uh, they need to have the facility they, they have to provide the facility that based in Sharia compliant uh, just like the food, the facility, there's, there is no uh, there is no alcoholic Okay, for the Islamic financial services, we know the Islamic bank and the Takaful, which is the insurance Islamic Okay, medical, pharmaceutical, cosmetic and personal care is about the product uh, medical that is based on the halal Gelatin, which is based on animal halal gelatin, animal gelatin. There is no uh, haram uh, element. Okay. Uh, the entertainment and the entertainment. Okay. The entertainment is just like Al Jazeera. Al Jazeera, we know that they have the news about uh, the news about the worldwide, and they also have another just like the not uh, for the news only, and uh, they have just like the entertainment uh, based on the Islamic perspective okay the lastly is the lifestyle and fashion product there is stress for the woman and uh, there is stress for the woman okay okay the lastly is the key challenge uh, key challenge for the aspiring Muslim brand they have six A the first one is the awareness awareness okay uh, we know that when gaining brand awareness which is uh, they need the strategy to uh, to build their company mostly for the Muslim okay the second the accessibility ensuring accessibility accessibility meaning that uh, we as the small company need to join venture to the uh, with the big company that's like Nestle if we have the good cooperation with them uh, we can cooperate uh, with them by the joint venture do the product which is based on the Islamic perspective. Okay, the third is assess, uh, the third is acceptability. Okay, acceptability we need the uh, the branding is powerful, so the customer will buy without any doubt. Okay, uh, many that's just like night they have a good uh, branding, which is a powerful branding that people without without any doubt they can buy the product. Okay, the fourth is adequacy. And the fifth is the affinity, which is gaining trust. Uh, without the trust, the customer will, uh, will, will know loyalty to buy your product. And the lastly, attack. Okay, attack, attack from the brand competitors. We know the, our competitors, uh, we know the Muslim branding is not, uh, they have powerful and quite lower. So, Maybe they will compete with the well-known company just like the Western, just like the Nestle. Okay, that's all for me. Thank you. Uh, my name is Ahmad Ahmadi Ben Ahmad Ayat, uh, 114 uh, I will present the Islamic marketing practices in Malaysia. Okay. For the first one is called a multinational enterprise, uh, MNE in a short uh, in a acronym. So MNE is an enterprise that engage in a Foreign Direct Investment FDI and owns or control value adding activities in more than one country. Um, it means that um, uh, an enterprise, a huge enterprise that that uh, owns or have a business in other foreign country uh, more than one. Um, uh, okay, and then. The operation of an M&E is particularly interesting compared to a domestic firm because it operates in many different of environment and culture around the world, elevating the burden of coordination and strategies of structure. The, ne the next one is market-oriented culture. 
Market oriented culture is a entrance as the prime interest of our organization. Um, market orientation and the retail industry clearly have a key, a key characteristic in common. Um, it is also been said uh, maintain that pricing and product are easily replicate by the competitors. So retailers focus more more on the uh, customer. And uh, the last one is uh, CDC framework. Uh, CDC means uh, convergence, divergence, and cross-vergence. Okay, we go to the first one, convergence. Convergence is, uh, you know, rise from the notation that is, uh, is an industrial, industrially, industrialized nation, become more successful with developed institution and modern technology, hence adopting economics and political Political values similar to those of the industrial leaders. Uh, for the for the divergence, divergence view maintain that differences in culture among societies and nation will negate the convergence of economic ideologies, as people prefer to preserve their identity and way of doing things despite outside influences. And the last one is convergence, a convergence. Cross-vergence is a development of a new unique culture, belief and values in a given system, uh, which is something different from the old value. It means that the HQ, headquarters, and its subsidiaries need to drop down their, their previous nation or, or organizational culture, uh, their, their system, for example, uh, and, and develop a new one uh, that will get their business operation on the specific nation, based on the culture. Uh, that's all from me. Thank you.